What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Yippee! That's right. <laughs> Every single Sunday, you'll see us here on ABC at 11 a.m. And we're giving you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things and experience that maybe we've utilized to give you guys the inside track to take your relationship to a whole new ultimate next level. Whether that's a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship. Oh boy. Politics. A fiance, a wife, boyfriend, whatever it is, we're here a to pillow. help you guys. Could be whatever. <laughs> yeah. This is true. This is true. <laughs> so every week we're gonna come up with pretty good topics to try to help you guys out. Uh, whether it's something maybe you can do together, uh, or something you might need to look at in your relationship to see, hey, listen, what's going on here, right? Everybody out there, so you guys just understand, nobody's perfect. Me and Sharice aren't perfect. You guys aren't perfect. Everybody has flaws. But um, it's continuously about getting better, especially for you and your partner, right? And so this week is a pretty good one, I think. Um, this is a pretty good topic. So are you confident and are you confident in a relationship? It's a good question, right? Good one. So, you know, when we talk about confidence, we talk about, you know, being strong, not having insecurities. And I'm not talking about physically being strong, but uh, being strong mentally as far as about yourself, right? Because as we grow up, you know, we are our worst critiquers out there. We look at ourselves in the mirror every single day. We know where every single flaw is on our body, ourselves, uh, maybe what we've done in the past. And this might eat away at your confidence level. Um, you know, some people out there that might have had bad high school or elementary school bullying, right? They're insecure um, about maybe their weight or the way they look, their nose, this, that, whatever, because they were bullied about these things. So it stays with them and their mental conscience about some of these things and it erodes some confidence down on some people. I mean, you see it all the time. And it, you know, you might see the most beautiful girl on the beach, right? And she just has low confidence. And you can kind of tell when you talk to somebody on their confidence level. You can definitely tell. You can feel it. Yeah. You can feel a confident person or an insecure or unconfident person too at that. Yeah. And then you read off that vibe and that energy and then that's how things progress or not. Um, but you know, for that, you know, you want to be strong and then your relationship, right? So when we talk about relationships and we talk about being confident in a relationship, what we should be talking about is, um, you being confident and trusting in your partner, right? And confident in your relationship is going somewhere. So, you know, not having insecurities, not feeling guilty. Um, you know, there's all different things mm -hmm. that can make you unconfident and unconfident in your relationship. So. You know, if you're doing these things or you have these different insecurities or problems or things that you're unconfident with, this is when we turn to the big C word, which is communication. And communication is key, right? And everything from relationships, business relationships, friends, family, everything across the board, even you talking to a repairman, yep. communication is key. So Work, you know what's going on, everything. right? So if you're not communicating, you're assuming possibly in these situations and you're thinking about the worst possible situation that's happening. I'm so good at this scenario. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've mastered this actual yeah. scenario he's talking about yeah. right so now. <laughs> you know you know what these things do is especially that if you start assuming things and you, you start, just create and fathom oh, this man. i mean i could have been the best book writer because <laughs> i can fathom the best story ever all the way from the point of when john got in his car oh, and what God. happened between the car and him coming home oh, my God. and the a whole story how you went to the mall and you must have done this <laughs> and you were here for 10 minutes <laughs> then you said hi to this guy and then you got some little greek in the food court i know everything <laughs> so this, this is things right because you know if you're that partner and you're very insecure about things right it is eating you alive what's going on what are they doing well where are they at who are they talking to you know and it shouldn't be like that because these things are going to cause you different stress levels as the person right and this is not good for your health right off the bat right stress and high stress is not good and then you know your relationship so you know, the physical, the mental, the emotional connection with your partner, this could be throwing some things off. It's like flickering the lights almost, or the light's going off and the power is gone. And then you're like, oh, power's back on. So, you know, that's inconsistent as far as, you know, what's going on with relationships. So that's the big thing I would say is, is that you want to make sure that if you do have these insecurities, you're talking to your partner and you're talking about these insecurities about what can make it better. And you don't want to be unrealistic of what you're asking for either, because that's just going to throw your partner off in a whole different level. Like, um, you can't, like I was watching Nine Day Fiance, me and Sharice watch it. And about this at, up, actually. at this point, like there, there's a, there's a couple there and there's this chick in the Philippines, there's this guy from America. And before they met, they had to be on FaceTime 24 seven. 
The, I mean, literally, literally, the girl had to be on FaceTime with the guy for 24 seven. I'm talking about through dentist visits, um, you know, where he was sleeping, when he was eating, like literally like in control the whole time. And if they weren't on it, or even if he went to the dentist and she was on FaceTime watching everything that's going on, if he talked so, yeah. to the, uh, hygienist. the hygienist <laughs> there, she's flipping out and crying on, on FaceTime. So this is very insecure behavior, right? And then even when they got to in person, uh, they're going in person. This guy goes to the Philippines to, to marry this, this girl, in church. Um, to, to live with this girl, to live in Philippines for this woman. And at that point, she's a big church person, right? She's a big Christian. And at that point, he doesn't like religion or he doesn't have any religion that he's tied to. And obviously, this is a big part of what she's doing. So she wants him to come. So he does. And he's there. He's in church. And he can't, he's got to look down. He's, he's got to look down or he's got to look at her. And she's telling him, do not look at any girls here. And I'm talking about old ladies. Like, you know, people are like, he's just looking around like, hey, listen, what's going on here? Um, and at that point, that's another form of insecurity. Like, you don't want to control your partner to the bit where they feel like I'm a caged animal, right? I, I can't do anything, um, you know, without my partner saying it's okay. Or are they always in fear of your, the partner too as well? Like, um, I can't do this because my partner is going to be pissed. I can't do this because they're going to be mad at me. I can't get, the, you know, so that's not good either. So, I mean, really, literally, literally talking about things with your partner is the best thing. And, and you know what? Sometimes your partner will be receptive. Sometimes they might not be, mm -hmm. you know, there's, Just depends. there's different relationships out there. I mean, the flip side times. of this too, though, is that if you're in a situation like this, right, there's a couple different scenarios you can flip here. If you have a partner and you guys have, let's say you, you did something you weren't supposed to do, right? And you create this whatever it is right of course you're you're gonna make your partner insecure now whether you've made your partner insecure or let's say you've never done anything ever and you've been an angel and they're still insecure it is super important on your behalf to make them feel secure mm -hmm. right so john was really good about this mm -hmm. you know he would always reassure me like that oh you're my only one. Oh, i love you oh you look pretty today oh this and that hey meet me here or wh whatever it was because he's showing me that like i do want to be around you like or i do think you're beautiful or you are the only one to me i don't see anybody else kind of thing and you know it's it's reassuring to the partner and then the partner has to be receptive and they're gonna have to say okay well i'm feeling a little bit more reassured let me not you know freak out about every little thing so you're gonna have to, if you are in a situation like this where you, you care and love for the individual and you wanna make it work, because I feel like nobody tries anymore. You're just willing to go just swipe on some phone or whatever mm -hmm. it's called. Mm -hmm. um, but you wanna try to make it work, that's gonna be the way to make it work, yeah. is to really try on your side to secure and make them feel really good. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying like go out of your way or like, you know, be down on your knees for them. I'm saying to make sure that they know that you love them and that's it, like there's nothing else. And you have to show that uh, consistency. Mm -hmm. It can't just be like one day and you're like, hey, you're really pretty. And then the next day you're um, at dinner and you're walking and uh, you have girls walking by and every girl you're like this. Oh, I thought, you thought, I thought you said I was pretty. I thought you said I was the prettiest one. Well, why are you looking at all of these girls walk by? Mm -hmm. Is there something you want that I don't have? Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's how it goes down, that's though. It's one. like real life. That's a good one. Yeah, don't let your girl catch you checking out other girls. They're going to be upset. Yeah, for sure. put on your shades and make sure they're really dark. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, you know there's, there's two other things that could affect a relationship and make you insecure, too, as well. So, one, you might have had a past relationship that went bad. Mm -hmm. right? this, this person that's cheated common. on you all the time. They, they did bad things to you that ruined your credit. I mean, I've heard all kinds of different stories from relationships. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just a cheating thing that really hurt the person. It mm -hmm. was different, different other things. Emotional abuse, physical abuse. I mean, there's different things that could really ruin somebody. Um, and they carry these emotional scars. And these emotional scars cannot be seen. So when you look at somebody and you're like, oh, man, I'm injured. You know, you say, oh, well, he's got a cast on his arm, man. He, he got injured pretty bad. But when we talk about emotional scarring too, like people don't see those, those injuries. They don't see the scarring of kind of what possibly could have happened. And it is that person's uh, responsibility to try to get through those things themselves too. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if they're gonna get in a relationship, they need that support. And that's where, you know, you go the extra mile if you really wanna be with that person to make them feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And maybe they'll get past some of these different things. And it might take some time, you know, because Listen, those, those brick walls go up, man. You know, it's, it's not easy busting through a brick wall. So you got to make sure that you're there. And if you want to be around that, some people can deal with that. Some people can't. 
Like, listen, I don't even want to deal with your old baggage. I'm not dealing with this. I'm going to get with somebody that I don't have to, 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 to do these extra steps with, and it'll be happy just with me. But you know what? It, it, there are people out there, and they accept some of these different things as far as baggage, whether it's emotional scarring, kids. You're accepting the person for what they are. The other thing is the outside influence. Don't let outside influence mm. you. Right? Yeah. And what do I mean by this? I mean your friends, your family, whoever's out there, and they're telling you things about your partner or what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. You know what? And that's, they don't even have a relationship. And that's the thing. Most of these they're people single. that are out there, and they're, you should be doing this, or he should be treating you like this, or she should be treating you like this. They don't even have a, a solid relationship. Yeah. Now, if you talk to somebody and they're like, hey, man, you know, I've been married for 20 years. This is my life experience. Those are the people you need to talk yeah. to. And, you know, and not the ones that have the phony relationship. It's just paper at that point. Because I know relationships like that. Been together 20 years. Don't sleep in the same bedroom. They're dating Crazy. other people. But since they have all this property, all this money together. They're going to share a house and live on separate sides. They just don't want it. They don't want to give it up to the lawyer. So, that, you know, who cares? You do what you want to do. No, I'm talking about people that are together still 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's harder to find those people that have those long-lasting relationships. But those are the people that you should learn from. Think about it. When we go for anything out there, uh, we want to go to a professional, a personal trainer that's professional, has certified certifications, you know, a doctor that's certified, all these different things out there, right? So you want to exactly go to somebody that should know about relationships and those people that have been doing it for that long, they got some tricks. Mm -hmm. They've been through everything you've been and maybe even more. I know we've been through a lot. Oh, we've been through a lot. And we're talking about almost 16 years. So at that point, like, a it's, lot. A, it's a long time. And, you know, like I said, nothing's perfect. We had to work through our little quirks, mm -hmm. issues, problems, insecurities, jealousy, all this stuff. I'm not right? jealous. I've but it, it's brought us to a way better level, too, by being able to get through these things and stay in the course. It's real easy, like Sharice said, to, to exit out of a relationship, whether it's a marriage, a boyfriend, um, just a partner in general, and at that point, move on to the next one. That same day, maybe 20 minutes later, you know, people are swiping. And that's not, that's not healthy, guys, just to, just to move on like that. I, you know, I know the old saying, you know, um, you know, to get, get rid of this one, you have to get underneath another one. You know, it is what it is. Or it, You gotta get with somebody else to get over the person you yeah, just got over. Like, that, that's not, but that's you're not still true. like, and yeah, you know what, people, same day. people might follow that bad advice, right? And then they go and they have intercourse with somebody and that whole time they're thinking about the other person. Yeah. They don't even care about that. They're just trying to have some emotional feeling, I think, like, or, or try to get back at them some way, shape or form. They think that that's the way to do it. It's not the way to do it, guys or girls out there. Mm -hmm. So just remember all these tips and tricks and information. Yeah, we got the good ones, yeah. Um, we've got some good information for you guys and be secure in your relationship. And if you're not secure in your relationship and not secure or confident in yourself, then do that. Work on yourself, it's okay. You know, nobody's perfect, like I said. So if you see these flaws and, and be honest with yourself about it too, mm -hmm. right? Really look in the mirror, you know, and, and do what you gotta do. But we're here for you guys every Sunday. Me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, because she's so beautiful and all <laughs> I love you too. Right? Um, well, we're here at Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. ABC. And if you miss it, don't worry. You can DVR it or you can check it out on all our social media platforms too as well. ABC, 11 a.m. here in beautiful Florida. We'll see you guys soon. See you then.